Okay, continuing on with patterns, rules, and tables, this is another type of example. I have here three stages, and each stage has a certain number of circles in them. Stage one has four circles, stage two has eight circles, stage three has 12 circles. Okay, and I just count, each time I reach a new stage, I count the number of circles. And at the end of all this, I create a table. Okay, this time I'm gonna use N and F of N. N is going to stand for the stage number. I could just write stage number here and that's also fine. F of N is going to stand for the number of circles. I could also write number of circles here. That will also be okay. This is just short. N stage 1 has 4 circles. Stage 2, N is 2. There are 8 circles. Stage 3, there are 12 circles. 3 and 12. And to create the rule, I look at the change in the number of circles. 4 to 8, that's plus 4. 8 to 12, that's also plus 4. On the left side, I look at the change from, st from stage number. 1 to 2, that's plus 1. 2 to 3, that's plus 1. And together, I create the slope, m. It just, slope just means rate of change. So how does it all change together? 4 and 1 will be equal to 4 over 1 will be equal to 4. That's the rate of change, the slope. Now, the rule needs to be found by using an example. I pick the top one. I can pick any of them, but I'm just going to choose the top one. 1 and 4. So, I use my slope, 4. 4 times the, f the input, the first number, plus something will get me to the second number, which is four okay when I put in one I'm trying to get to my goal which is four put in one get to four okay so when I put in one I'll have this four times one which equals four well the thing is I'm already there four times one is four so that was my goal to get to four so I do not have to add anything so sometimes you can write plus zero but you don't ever really have to write plus zero because it doesn't change the number that you started out with so it's just 4 times n will get you to your answer. Okay, so the rule is just 4n. No plus or minus anything, just 4n. Again, continuing on with patterns, rules, and tables, I have a third example. This time using figures that are arranged in blocks. And... I need to look at the figure number and count the number of blocks. So figure 1 has 3 blocks. Figure 2 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 blocks. Figure 3 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. Okay, this time instead of using figure number and number of blocks or n and f of n, I'm going to use x and y. Okay, remember they all can be used, different labels for these two columns can be used but X and Y will be useful for transitioning later to linear equations so figure 1 I'll call that X1 okay I'll write X up here okay so I know X is figure number and down here I'll write Y so I know Y is the number of blocks figure 1 3 blocks figure 2 4 blocks figure 3 five blocks three and five okay now to write the rule I need to know the change okay on the right side change in y three to four that's an increase in one four to five that's an increase in one now if there were ever a case where it was decreasing this is just a side note okay if it was ever decreasing for example four three two the change would not be plus 1, it would be minus 1. Okay, that's just for future reference. Now, the change on the x side, plus 1, plus 1. So, when I write my s rule, I start with the slope, or in other words, the rate of change. The change in the y side is 1, change in the x side is also 1, and 1 divided by 1 is just 1. So when I write my rule, it looks something like this. 1n 
plus or minus something. I'm going to use one example ordered pair from the table x1, y3, and my slope, which is 1. I write the slope first, then x, and then equals. Okay, I, I use 1, I need to get to 3. So when I put in 1, I need to get to 3. 1 times 1 is 1. To get to 3, I have to add 2. So the, the rule is going to be 1x plus 2. 